Hey guys, it's Anya. Um, and I'm here today on this muggy <laughs> Saturday, the day before Mother's Day, um, recording this video for anyone who's interested um, in regards to CQ handcrafted and my ready to ship that I'm opening on the 17th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I just wanted to go over um, a few things with you um, in regards to the scent list, scent or the sizes available, and what to expect. Um, I realized I didn't do that for my soft opening, but just to give you guys an, uh, kind of an inside scoop on what's available, I did post the scent list on CQ Handcrafted. Um, the Instagram page as well as here on YouTube and then also in my Facebook group um, and you can just search up CQ handcrafted and join I'm open to all the things <laughs> I am open to anyone who wants to join no basically no uh, restrictions just just make sure you answer the questions uh, let's go ahead and get started so I just brought over <laughs> an empty box here with just one of every scent that I have available and to kind of read over the scent notes with you and then also kind of show you what I am what I have available so so this is like your standard clam these are like two and 2.7 anywhere from 2.7 to 3 ounces worth of wax um, these will be 390 American um, and I have the majority or the biggest variety of scents in the 2.7s because I can do um, one pound batches equal well I'll say 18 ounces equal about six of these and it's like the perfect ratio for me especially in regards to making sure that I have the appropriate fragrance oil load in all of them so again these are three dollars and ninety cents um, so I guess I should say that the 2.7 are really like two and a half to three ounces it just depends on the clamshell shape so this we have this one here which is more rectangular whereas we have these ones that are more cube shape um, these I got from Amazon they're not my favorite clam so I wanted to finish up using them but these will be the standard size of the the smallest size that I'll be offering also of course I do something else regarding like tart pans um, but even then those are like two and a half ounces so um, the next size up here is anywhere from three and a half to four ounces and these will be 595 you get eight melts from one clamshell um, I do like the shape of these I am also in the market for bigger clam sizes the ones similar to like the Teddy B size. I love the size of those and the wax cubes. Like for me, I can cut those in half and use that as a melt. So I feel like you get more bang for your buck. I'm just in the pricing stage at this time. So, but I do like having kind of like a medium option. Um, and most of my wax is like a harder wax. So that's why I choose to use the clamshells because it's easier just to break off and go and then I decided to try a new souffle shape so we have these square mini cake pans and that's what I'm gonna call these are wax cakes so uh, these are limited um, they're like I said the biggest variety of scents will come in the 2.7 clamshells I think I'm gonna say anywhere from six to nine different scents in the wax cakes and these weigh out anywhere from five to five point seven ounces just depending on whether or not they have embeds on them or if they are layered they'll be flat um, but they'll still have some embellishment with some really pretty glitter so those ones will be seven ninety um, each regardless if they have been meds or not um, so let's now that we've covered the sizes 
we can start talking about the scents and I'm really excited. I've been like <laughs> playing mad scientist over here and it's been a lot of fun. So we'll start with I'm a statue if you like cookies. So this is pistachio pudding coconut cake, iced almond cookies, white cake, and zucchini bread. It's phenomenal. I really love how this one came out. This one is green with purple drizzle and did I do purple in this one? No, I just did a green, like an olive or a uh, lime hollow glitter. Uh, this scent is available in the 2.7 ounce or the 5 ounce souffle or the wax cake. So, love that. That one was probably one of my favorites that I made up. Actually, all of these are my favorite. Though, let me lie to you. I love pistachio and bakery mixed together. So, that one was a lot of fun to mix up. Um, I wanted to try a coffee scent, and this one is not your average coffee. So, this is called Coffee Cake and the Stars. And this is. This is going to set a scene for you. So this is sipping on a hot cup of joe while eating a slice of chocolate heaven by Cozy and Sweet Fire. So what we're looking at is a dark roast with creamy chocolate cake mixed with Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside. I love how this turned out. This, if you like chocolate and you like coffee or if you experience a coffee, I mean a chocolate note with like espresso blends, blends, I think you would enjoy this. The Palo Santo, the Marshmallow Fireside add an extra smokiness. It's just really, really good. My son doesn't even like coffee and he really likes that. So really happy, happy with that one and how that one turned out. And I feel like it's not your run of the mill coffee with bakery. Um, a fresh scent I did. Oh, and that this this scent is only available in the two, the less than three ounce size. Um, next up, and this one is only available in the three ounces, is called Pink Coast. Um, and this is hints of lemon, marine air, sea greens, pink salt, pomelos, red grapefruit, sweet mint, and fluffy marshmallow. If you like sand sweat or those citrus breezy aquatic fresh type blends this is right up your alley this is solid I used a whole clam within this area here my open concept is not that big granted I don't have vaulted ceilings or whatever but this this was a lot of fun to come up with I love citrus and I like fresh like um, salty type notes um, so this one I really really am happy with how that one came out um i did while i was restocking and repouring so i did have four clams left over peonies and pears this is stunning this is juicy pear raindrops and peony blossoms with a hint of apple and vanilla so the peony blossoms apple and vanilla is actually the perfect poppy bath and body work i'm sorry perfect peony bath and body works oil mixed with a juicy pear and raindrops. I love how this one came out. This one is a light pink with a gold and then we have a pink holographic glitter. It's very, very pretty. I, um, I tend to stay away from florals, but I enjoy floral with fruit and sweet, like green type notes. So this, um, it's kind of my nod to Down the Aisle by Sensi, but this one is definitely sweeter. Love that. Ooh, another one I had fun coming up with. So I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I get like recipe posts, received recipe posts and this person had posted a King's Hawaiian cream cheese Danish. I'm like, I want to make that in wax. So I made Hawaiian cheese Danish and this is sweetbread arsenal bread, pineapple upside down cake, and cream cheese frosting. <laughs> it's so good. Um, not to toot my own horn, but this one is really, really lovely. You get both the breads. I like the sweetbread in com a combination with the artisan bread to give you like that bakery bready note. Then that sweet Hawaiian upside down cake, pineapple upside down cake. Oh, it's so good. And then you get a little bit of that cream cheese frosting. Um, this one, 
I think I actually did in all three sizes. So I think that was actually the last of my larger clams. I need to clean up this clamshell. <laughs> okay, so next up is immediate, immediately yes. This is strawberry white cake and zucchini bread. Um, but this oil has got strawberry, no, it's a strawberry white cake and whipped cream plus zucchini bread. I did it in like a coral color with a drizzle, two kinds of glitter because I can't help myself. Um, if you're offended by glitter in your warmers, then maybe my shop isn't for you. But if you don't mind it and you find that a cotton ball and a little sweep of your cotton to get your glitter out of your warmer and it doesn't bother you, then you're, you'll be okay. <laughs> I do know I have a lot of these. I wanna say three or four batches of immediately yes. You can't go wrong with a strawberry zucchini blend. Um, next up is strawberry glazed French crawlers. Again, this was inspired by a post I saw on uh, Facebook for a recipe. Um, this is sweet strawberries, French toast, jelly glazed donuts, strawberry pound cake, and sweet bakery dough. I have this available in the three sizes. Love this one. You definitely have to appreciate French toast. Um, this one, with the recipe, it was talking about using, um, it was either croissants dipped in like a batter like you would do for French toast and then you fry them like a crawler and it had like this beautiful, creamy milky glaze on top with strawberries so I was like I, I want to make that so that's what I came up with um, another pineapple blend this is razzed upside down this is pineapple upside down cake I bought a big bottle so I was like let me just see what I can come up with this and pineapple bakery I really enjoy it um, pineapple upside down cake, raspberry lemonade, raspberry sugar, and lemon ice box cookies. Pineapple and lemon go very well together. The, the raspberry lemonade really brings out the tonalities of the lemon in the lemon ice box cookies. Kind of adds an extra berry zing. And the raspberry sugar is divine. I loved both of those oils. Um, so I just thought it'd be fun to do like a raspberry, lemon, pineapple, bakery blend. So if I do say so myself, this is fantastic. Um, oh, so I got this amazing, well, okay, so let me start over. Um, the next one I have here is called Barnabas, which is a character that Mr. Johnny Depp Place, um, in Dark Shadows, the remake of the, my mom used to say it was like a soap opera <laughs> back in the 70s, um, and Barnabas is the vampire character in that. So I went with a dark gray with like a blood color. <laughs> um, this has notes of patchouli, cedar, vetiver, labdanum, frankincense, and I mixed that with pink frosted crackers, frosted animal crackers, cookies. Pink frosted animal, yeah, I have pink frosted animal crackers. This is a very masculine, sexy scent. If you like those masculine type scents, this would be great to try. I loved how this came out. My son requested I make him a body spray in this scent. Um, it is the Johnny Depp SES type mixed with the pink frost animal crackers. This is lovely. This again, that was Barnabas and this is only available in the, the smallest size. I did, um, Another laundry blend, this is Cosmic Laundry Day. I love Apple Mango Tango. So I wanted to try to sweeten it up and also add, or play on the fresh fruity notes and that. So this is Apple Mango Tango, Baja Cactus Blossom, and Cotton Candy. It's a bright neon with pink glitter and a pink, um, well the pink and yellow kind of make it look like orange drizzle, but this is awesome. Um, if you like Apple Mango Tango, this would be right up your alley. 
I am been on the quest to try to make like fruity laundry blends that not only I enjoy, but I feel like there may be some more of us out there. Um, so I made up another batch of this. This is available in, I have two, uh, two four ounce clams, which are the last two size of that um, clam shape. And then I have like six or seven of this one available. Another fruity laundry blend, sorry, my stash is down here. Another fruity laundry brand blend I came up with, I'm calling Layla. This is mulberries, the fresh linen, and salty sea air. <laughs> oh, and she is so wrong. Um, the mulberries in this actually brighten up the linens. And I like the salty sea air note in there. I feel like this is a a great fresh, but also fruity laundry blend. Um, I really do like how that one turned out. Actually really impressed with the throw on this. This one went in my bathroom. I've also melted my, my I had like two mist pours. Um, also out here and in my bathroom, it went for three days which is kind of impressive for a laundry scent. So I, if you like fresh, fresh laundry type scents, don't mind a berry note. The mulberry in this is delightful. Okay, available in the small clams and then also the five ounces is my s'mores by the ocean. This is not a beach nights blend. This is just a, a, a variation. <laughs> this is definitely more salty sea air, more s'mores than the toasted marshmallow. Although this does have three different marshmallow oils in it. <laughs> um, and the smallest amount of s'mores, but you still get the chocolate note. But that being said, the salty sea air and the chocolate, if you like salty sweet kind of snacks, this might be right up your alley. I love this. I feel like, um, um, what do I say? How do I say this? If you like the salty sea air, sweet combinations in wax, give this one a try. It's, um, it's really, it does. I really like how this one turned out. So again, that's available in the small clams and then the wax cakes. Okay, so today I just poured these and this is only available in the smaller clams. This is powdered paws. And this is freshly fried batch of cake batter dough with mounds of powdered sugar, whipped cream, sliced strawberries, and a hint of nutmeg. Um, this is definitely like, you get the fried dough, you get the warmth of the nutmeg. You get a glaze, you get the creamy notes of that whipped cream and the sweetness of the powdered sugar, strawberries. I love how this turned out. Um, I need to make sure I keep, I think I have like one sample of this, but I'm going to be reordering the oils for this because this was amazing and I feel like this would be great to have year round. Next up we have United We Pie. Thank you, Belinda, for helping me name this because I was like stuck. <laughs> this is um, apple strudel cherry pie, extra baked buttery crust and country cream. Um, this is basically an apple cherry. I made a cobbler one night. <laughs> Can you tell that I like food? I made a cobbler one night that had one side apple and the other side made with cherry. Both of those are cherry or pie fillings um and I had whipped up a streusel crumb cobbler type situation um so I was inspired by that so this um is available in the larger clams the smaller clams and the five ounce wax cakes very very yummy not super cinnamon forefront but you have to like apple strudel and you have to like cherry pie in order to enjoy this i do love the extra buttery notes in the crust as well as the buttery oh country cream is straight up butter <laughs> so it's really good um if you like those if you like pie scents um i came up with a lavender blend this is lavender pinoli bake 
This is powdered donuts, Italian pignoli cookies, lavender vanilla custard, a hint of herbal lavender, and sweet bakery dough. I did this with like a lavender and like a hmm, raspberry topi, raspberry topi, raspberry type blend or drizzle, and then the glitter on this. Let's see. It's like a two toned lavender color. And then I also did like this uh, duochrome black, blue, rainbow micro glitter. This is so good if you like lavender bakery. Um, next up, I have berry baked, I'm sorry, baked berry bliss, which is blackberry jam, Danish butter cookies, honey cornbread, and country cream. I had a lot of fun decorating these. So we have a drizzle and we have three kinds of glitter on here. This one I need to clean up a little bit more. Um, and no worries, I will sanitize all these things that I have touched so they'll be ready for the RTS. Um, but you can see there's glitter on the bottom. This one's available in all three sizes. Um, I will have to say you have to enjoy a honey note because the honey cornbread comes off. It was actually one of the lighter, I guess it's just the quality of the oil. <laughs> It came off a little stronger than the majority of what I poured was the blackberry jam oil. Um, so you do have to like a honey in order to appreciate this blend, but it was so good. And I'm very happy with how that one came out. Oh, and then this labor of love. This is waffles at the end. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sweet bakery dough, cinnamon sugar, and raspberry drizzle. The raspberry drizzle is in, is actually not a drizzle. This is like you have a stack of pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin pecan pancakes, and you have sat here and poured the raspberry syrup on top of it. And then it's soaking in to those pumpkin pecan waffles. This is very, very yummy. Perfect. You like a more dense autumnal bakery with raspberry and if you like bakery dough i really love how this one turned out this one i have available in the small clams and the wax cakes and i have one more here And this one was not on the scent list. This one was just a surprise blend that I came up with. This is called Umbrella Drink. We have. So these are available in the smaller and then the larger clams. This is notes of pineapple, coconut water, lime, blue raspberry, orange slices topped with a juicy cherry. To me, it smells like you have one of those fruity tropical drinks with like a coconut rum. It's got blue curacao in it. You got a fresh lime drizzle or even some sour mix up in there. <laughs> Slice of orange and a cherry on top. I love how this one came out. Um, I can't, I saved like one, I think one or two of these for myself. And this is so good. Um, if you like those kind of fruity, pineapple-y, coconutty type scents for the summer, um, I felt this would be a very good addition to have for the lineup for the summer before I start working on like fall type scents or even just regular like bakery blends. Um, yeah, but so that's, that is um, what's upcoming on the 17th. It opens at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. And I'll stay open until everything sells out. Um, and I think that from going forward, um, I'm not sure if this is the model that I want to continue doing. Um, I kind of feel like it might be better to like pour like three or five different scents in a couple weeks and just relist them on the site. So that way there's always something new. Um, if you guys have like requests, I'm open to taking requests. Um, if you find a blend that you really enjoy, I can do that for you. But just keep in mind that 
if you have a request and I don't have the oil on hand, we have to wait for the supplies to come in before that happens. So but anyway, <laughs> that being said, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you guys are excited, as excited as I am about this lineup. I have, we'll say the, the three ounce clams, I have 21 different scents. <laughs> I just couldn't stop myself. Um, the wax cakes are limited quantity as well as the three, the larger clams. Um, and I'm hoping that I can actually continue making the wax cakes. Just, it's just an issue of finding the proper supplier. So, um, I'm hoping that won't be an issue going here for it. I have one more batch, like of a hundred that I have available. So hopefully we'll, we shall see. It's just all these, all these little tidbits nobody prepares you for. Um, but that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. Like I mentioned before, cqhandcrafted.com is my website where you can purchase these on, they will be listed or they're listed already, but the site will be live and open on May 17th, which is next Saturday at 6 PM central standard time. Um, if you like this kind of content, just make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything in here that you're interested in. I know that I'm looking forward to melting my United Wee Pie because it is just, it's so good. I feel like pie scents. <laughs> and I crave pie scents. I crave bakery 24 seven because I can't eat it like I want to. So smelling it kind of helps with the cravings. And then sometimes it doesn't <laughs> like that strawberry French um, glazed crawlers and the Hawaiian cheese Danish. My mouth was watering the whole time I was pouring those. So I don't know if you're fasting, I wouldn't recommend melting any of these bakery scents. <laughs> but anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. You can contact me on the Facebook group. I'm very reachable, approachable on Instagram. Again, that's CQ Handcrafted on Instagram. That's the business page. Um, if you want to see what I'm melting, you can also follow me on Instagram at Wickless with Curly Q. I post daily, at least once a day, uh, what's in my warmers. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.